Church, praise the Lord. Our God is indeed a faithful God. God has honored the word of his servant. This year was declared the year of a supernatural shift. And um, last year we wrote an exam. Um, I wrote for the post of an assistant director. I was actually really scared of that exam. As of 2017, I started paying tight on that new level, trusting God, because normally I will hear that uh, people write and fail and fail. But I just said I'm connected to this commission and my papa, you know, is not a failure, so I couldn't fail. I met him and he declared a word and said, it is done. We wrote that exam as a Tuesday this week. I was one of those promoted to the post of an assistant director. I want to bless the name of the Lord because I didn't give anything, even when there were threats of uh, money and all that. I went back to see mommy and she said nothing would be paid. And I want to bless the Lord because 10 cobra was not paid. I want to also thank God that before now, actually I'm from a family that lots of evil has happened in quick successions. I've lost a lot of people. In fact, every year, sometimes we bury like two. Like I'm from a family of eight, four died. My close cousins, my brother's children, they were just dying. And I connected. I kept hearing people say that they connected to the word. And as from then, nobody was dying. So I began to pray. I said, this can happen even in my family. I want to bless the name of the Lord because... For the past two years, I've not been called for any burial. I want to give the praise to the mighty God because even the people that were carrying people, um, killing people, when they said it was my turn, I remember I rushed to daddy then and he said, lose her. Because my life was like a Red Sea in front, mountain at the back, all around surrounded. And I had an encounter that night. A hand came from up and picked me up. And the following night, the very terrorist that was killing people, gave up the ghost. I want to thank God because we have peace. No more death of young people. Praise the Lord. They now have peace and you are preserved in the name of Jesus. She says she's the only surviving daughter out of four other sisters that had passed through. Please. Quickly, sir, confirm your name and what the Lord did for you. Praise the Lord, church. Uh, I'm here this morning to give thanks to God for what God has done. Uh, indeed, this year has been declared as um, a year of supernatural shift, so drastic, dramatic, and dimensional. On Friday night, um, around past 10, 10 15, uh, my uncle's wife was kidnapped at um, Kogi State, Ida. Uh, I received a test that join your faith with us, pray with us. And uh, I was like, oh God, what is happening? But I remember that uh, we are connected to an altar or we are connected to an altar that never fails. I was able to put uh, a test to daddy and mommy. Mommy replied. Daddy also replied. And yesterday night, I was at the home cell uh, when my dad's call came in and um, said that she has been released. So I'm here this morning to return all praise to God. They came out to uh, switch off the gen and the husband was asked to go in. And then they went with the wife. But I'm here this morning to give thanks to God because divine restoration is working so active, so drastic. By a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. Yes, confirm your name and what the Lord did for you. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Ima Bong Iang. Three years ago, after crossover 2016 into 2017, Daddy said we're going to have encounters. And that morning, I had a dream where I saw Daddy. He declared to my sister and I and said, Congra, lucky to you. And that Wednesday, I gave that testimony. I was trusting God for a job that period. And then I got it just like that. Fast forward to this year, I got, okay, I left my previous employment at the prompting of God and then when I applied I got another job this year I was telling God what about the word you said the congratulations to me where is it 
and I heard, I just kept feeling the word service, service, and I hadn't done my maturity class, so I said, how will I go about it? Okay, God, Lord, please help me to serve you. Give me a way to serve. And then on the sixth, our area leader and house fellowship called and said, we need you to assist in some activities in the house fellowship, and I grabbed on the opportunity. After the first Saturday of serving there, where I was working, I had previously applied to join the legal department and I wasn't selected. That week after, they called me to HR and said, we're moving you to legal department. Now, the legal department has a better pay and it's more in my line because I'm a lawyer. Then yesterday, after uh, the home sale, after daddy's declaration, this morning I had an encounter again where I was telling another girl about what daddy was saying, don't be afraid and all of that. And then I turned and I saw daddy and he told me, come. And I went, he said, why are you not wearing good clothes? I said, I don't know. He now said, how much do you have? I told him 1,105 naira. He collected it from me, gave me 1,000 naira notes. Then he took it back from me and then brought out a chunky amount of 1,000 naira notes, mints from his pocket. I don't know how it could fit inside there. And he told me, take, buy new clothes, the balance of it, save in your accounts. I was so excited. Everybody started telling me, congratulations, congratulations. I ran to tell my family members and I forgot the money there. So on my way back, as I was going back to get the money, I saw some wild animals, some wild cats. They were attacking me. And then I was afraid. And a voice said, speak like your father. And I commanded them and I said, you foul creatures, get behind me. And they ran and hid. I went back and I took my money. I don't want to take it for granted. And it is total restoration. Congratulations, and you see a manifestation. Your name, please, and what the Lord did for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Faith Abodorin, and this is my beautiful mother, Mommy uh, Falasha de Abodorin. I just want to thank God for my life. In 2011, I left this country to study medicine abroad, and um, financial situation got really tough for my parents. Um, and instead of a six-year course, medicine abroad, it ended up becoming an eight-year course because they couldn't really pay my um, school fees. But I want to thank God that somehow my mom started coming to this commission and we came in contact with daddy and mommy and they were very helpful. They gave some money to assist us. And uh, not just that, what I have to say is when they gave the money, it opened so many doors for me. So, so many does. People from all around the world started coming around to give me money just because of the fact. And I thank God I was able to graduate even with all the difficulty with the first class to God's glory. And, and not only that, um, God blessed me with a job um, uh, on Friday. So I give God all the glory. Yeah. You got a job where? I got a job in the United States. Okay, just snap it. Praise the name of the Lord. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for what daddy and mommy has been doing. I want to say that for my 30 years, more than 30 years in the ministry, I have not seen love like this in this ministry. I, I, I want to say again that because of what God is using this great man of God doing in the kingdom, there is still hope for, for Christ in this nation. There is still hope. The Lord has used him to start great things. And that love will not leave him or leave mommy. Please, just quickly, let me say something. Two weeks I came, I got home. An old man saw me. He said, where are you coming from? I said, I'm from Dunamis. I think it's from daddy's area. And he said... Madam, he works in our house. He said, Madam, he said, do you see how God is using uh, Pastor Polenete to raise our tribe up? He said it. He said, see how he's using that our tribe because of him, our tribe has changed. He said, who did not like to, uh, to have a child like that? I just, because the, uh, I think what the man is doing, he's believing that if he has had a child like this man, he will not be what he is today. I, in fact, I don't know what to say. I said yes. Daddy, it is just... That lady was stranded in the course of her medical training. 
because of money. And we got to hear of it. And we sent some money. She was calling in Europe. But this girl is not able to progress in medical training because of money. We sent some money to her. And according to what she said, other monies came. It was meant to be six years course, but because of financial challenge, it became eight years. Long story made short, she was able to graduate with the highest level of honor in medical training, which is the first class she mentioned. Already finished setting exams and is now ready to practice and quality and in, in America, already has a job right there. What a faithful God we serve. You will never be stranded. Your children will never be stranded. Your generation will never be stranded. You believe that, shout the loudest. Amen. Give the Lord a praise. Take your seat.